Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? Um, I received an email from a community member and uh, she sent me a picture. So I had to look this up because I didn't even know this happened. She said, I went to my local grocery st uh, outlet today in Grass Valley, Northern California, Sierra Foothills, and I saw this. So many things are missing today or very low. I don't know how long this has been going on, but I was there about a week ago and I didn't see this sign. Just a heads up, I hadn't heard about this cyber attack anywhere. I've never heard of this either. So I'll show you the picture and then I'll tell you what I found out. So Amerigold, okay, they have suffered their second network breach in three years. So cold storage and logistics company requested customers cancel inbound and outbound deliveries after it had to shut down its breached network. A network breach at cold storage and logistics company Amerigold, Amerigold, sorry, uh, the second to hit the company in the past three years caused the company to delay both inbound and outbound deliveries last week. And this is according to a report from an information security and technology news publication. And in addition, Americold uh, filed a report with the Securities and Exchange Commission acknowledging the attack and its work to contain the problem. According to a memo sent out to customers by the company and quoted by the publication, Americold had contained the attack Shut, shut down the network and was investigating what had happened. It anticipated that its systems uh, would be shut down until the middle of this week. And the company requested that the customers cancel all inbound deliveries and reschedule all outbound deliveries, except for those which product was about to expire. So beyond this leaked memo and the SEC filing, Americold did not comment to news outlets further uh, on the situation and the attack is the second in the less uh, less than three years on Americold, which was hit in November of 2020 by a cyber attack that affected phone, email, inventory management and order fulfillment systems. Wow. So talk about another hit to the supply chain. Um, so there, uh, talk about, you know, this is uh, also for, um, you know, grocery stores and stuff like that, they're not going to be able to uh, put food in the uh, grocery stores. Holy cow. So I'm wondering how many grocery stores this is actually going to affect and what products do they put out? Because I'm not sure. Whoa. Oh, 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 wait. Okay. So Americold, I had, I, I've never even heard of this company. So this is the largest integrated network of temperature controlled infrastructure in the world. Freezers. Okay. All right. So they, whoa. And Americold owns and operates over 245 temperature controlled warehouses with more than 1 billion cubic feet of storage in the US, Australia, New Zealand, China, Argentina, and Canada. Wow. They are a part of the supply chain connecting food producers, processors, distributors, and retailers to consumers. I had, I seriously, I had no idea. Patches, what do you want? What? What do you want? <laughs> all right. So that's, that's all I know so far. Uh, if I find out anything more, I will let you guys know. Yes, I know it's treat time. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next one. You stay safe. You stay positive. You keep prepping. And as always, fear less. <laughs> Ciao. Say bye, Patches. No, she just wants her treats. <laughs> right? Oh.